Hi, welcome to this first video that we create on Arco Linux. So, when we press today Ctrl Alt T, we get this image, and in 1st of April we'll launch 6.6. .6. So, we have uh, a new name, Arch Merge, has become Arco Linux, and we uh, it's good to point out in the first video that we're actually not that different. So first of all, the numbering just goes on. The project is the same. It's just that we have another logo, another name, other websites, and um, we'll show you how it works. So this is the Arco Linux information website. Anything about launching and uh, some news and releases and all the information and what is Arco Linux and all that, that's on here. If you go to these links, which are open already up here, you can go to the arcolinux.com, which is based or is a website for the ISO, Arco Linux ISO. And at some point in time, we thought, hey, um, what if we uh, delete all these applications, videos, uh, LibreOffice, and all that? So, no application whatsoever, and just have a, give a minimal version. Then you should go to the other one, which is Arch, Arco Linux with a D or Arch Merge D previously. So we um, are going to make similar, uh, have similar uh, division in, in the website. So everything is, should be clear. This is information. This is for the ISO, the big one, two gigabytes. And this is for the small one, the base one. And we'll do other projects. So uh, build your own ISO and we'll fit them in somewhere in these websites. This video is going to be about uh, Awesome. Pretty soon uh, I'll make videos about Awesome. But first of all, uh, do we have a virtual box? Because maybe it's an interesting thing to have, um, to try it out first and see if you like it or not. So this video will include as well the setup of virtual box. Normally I uh, show you another video for that. So this will include that one as well. So new, we're going to make Arco Linux, that's wrong, and it's with a D based, oh no, sorry, not, well, it's, yes, based with, on the ISO, so probably I'll write with a D, knowing, okay, that's coming from that ISO, and then we go to awesome. So there is a lot of things you can install, i3, XFC, OpenBox, Cinnamon, Gnome, Budgie, I think I'm there yet, not everything, yes. Okay. Anyway, we can install all those. And today we are going to make already um, an image or an installation to teach tomorrow all the awesomes and make tomorrow all the videos. So Arco Linux D, awesome. Next, we have 16 gigabytes. I'm giving 50, 50 or more or less, six or so, keeping 10 for the other. And then next, create a virtual disk. Next, next, next easiest installation next 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 and then i give around 20 25 something around, around that size and then create the first time ever you won't see this detail so you have to click here so you can go on and see what details uh, there are but first of all we go into settings and in settings we go into system we have a processor with eight cpus so we're gonna give 50 50 here and a display we're going to give also more or less 50-50. We can enable 3D exhalation if we want. Okay, All right. I don't think that will be lots of influence for my system, but it's checked. That's it. Now you can be well I, let's let's be smart. Next time around I'll um, want to install it again. You know? So I'm gonna rename this one. To Arco Linux D, and this is gonna be my template. It's, it's an empty thing, it's just an empty virtual box. But now I can clone this and I call this one also. So next time around, when I want to try out GNOME, I'm gonna clone it again and call it GNOME, and so on and so on. So you can have all Arco Linux D desktops under one, uh, any one PC or like uh, this. We need to load something up. We need to choose a ISO, and here is a ISO, the Arco Linux D, 
and you will have the 6.6 .6, what we're working on is a still beta version and we have 6.5.7 at the point this point in time moving it over here so a dual screen and double click it so it make uh, it bigger if you click here you see all the messages now pop up do not show capture remember the right control okay capture fine so now I can navigate with my arrows and I choose the first one enter when I press control and I go back out again you'll see other pop-ups probably appear control F and let's see what pop-ups we can get rid of if they appear no they don't appear as of yet so this is the new look of Arco Linux D what's new Pff, nothing I mean the background was an XFC wallpaper and I hated it so now it's just a color and it's all it needs to be there's nothing to do here for you you don't you can press right mouse click and check it out but it's not intended to check out conky Zen is not installed this will not work There's lots of things will not work because it's just a gateway you pass through here you choose your language you want to have if you are more comfortable in another language you can do so and then next you can change the system language is the same here or the locale numbers as well change it as well and then you choose for next again most important is your keyboard I guess if you can't type it's gonna be difficult so I'm gonna choose Azerti and then next and my advice always is erase everything let Calamares take over the manual partitioning is not easy and that's for one and might be not working properly so erase disk is my option at all times and then next my name we are on Arco Linux D and we could add as well awesome you can't use spaces you can't you can use underscore you can use this but you can't use a space so we could call it Arco Linux D awesome next check everything out everything okay then you just go ahead and that's just waiting for uh, the installation so while we wait for the installation Arco Linux um, you can install lots of if lots of um, desktop environments on it I probably will get to uh, around 20 or so I think we can install on Arch Linux or Arco Linux um, is, it, is this um, well what is the difference between Arch Linux and Arco Linux Arch Linux is the ISO coming from the website from Arch Linux all right and it's 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 barren it's, it's minimal you have a terminal and then you install everything with the wiki and the guide what we use what Arco Linux is is Arch Linux plus AUR packages Arch user repository packages plus Arco Linux packages mix them all together and that's what it is it's a remix it's not uh, something we invent ourselves we build upon with tools of others if there if I have to explain what Arch Arco Linux is to someone who doesn't know anything about computers I tell them look it's a big Lego box Lego everybody knows Lego and you have building blocks you use building blocks that's Arch Linux you use building blocks that's AUR what's AUR AUR is Arch user repository that means your building blocks are coming from github Tariq sets uh, things um, they are coming from zips are coming from RPM Red Hat are coming from Debian Deb, and so on and you take this recipe this package build and you put it on your arch system that's what's happening and then we get our arch um, repository so I'm sorry our Arco Linux repository and that's it three elements build mix them together and you get Arco Linux everything is now installed and there we are first thing you do is do a mirror why well because you downloaded it somewhere in the Philippines in America in Russia in Brazil anywhere so you have to get your fastest servers near you that's done so mirror 
then probably you know by now you can do this thing okay what's this thing it's an update but not just any update an update of everything okay because of the a for a war if you forget don't forget the word alias and here it is also written that the, that code is actually going to launch yaourt okay next up is installing awesome and installing awesome is going to be um, some um, well let's split the tutorial here and let's install awesome separately so this is your standard installation of uh, Arco Linux D anything this is the first step whether you want i3 xfc of open box this is all the same all right okay 